Hello everybody, welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure and Star Maid here. So what's going on today? Well, today we are on our ship here. I'm just kind of doing some preliminary checks here and everything looks good. So what we need to do is we need to hop on to our station here. We need to activate because what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the shipyard computer is connected to the main storage of the facility. And I wasn't sure if I did that, so let's do that right here, right now. So, if we fly into here, go like this, um, go... So we have a block inventory, right? So if we go connection mode, and if we go to the central spot here, where are we? Here we go, and go V, I think. Bam. Okay, that's what we want. We want it to be connected so that way when we take apart ships, it doesn't dump into everywhere. Let's see here. So if we hop into here. Okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to park my ship onto that anchor there. So if you can see that anchor there in the middle there. So basically what we'll do is we'll park our ship there. So let's hop out of this thing. Let us... Actually, before I do that, I want to create another teleportation area in here where should we put that maybe back here somewhere just maybe pop it right here maybe let's see here no maybe you could probably do it right here and right there okay so if we go teleporter I think it's teleporter right uh, transporter maybe ah here we go transporter controller and transporter modules. These are going to come in handy, which is nice. So the transporter module we can put there. And then we can go, we can put a controller here. I'm going to rotate this bad boy like that. Okay, and then we're going to go C, V. And turn this on. We're going to see name this one. This should be, was it, ship yard deck just like that bam okay so now we can teleport all over so it's awesome so that should be set okay uh, actually no almost so we will set this to there from here faction access actually no that's fine okay perfect so let's hop out of this now so now that is all set up so let's teleport um, back to our ship so that way we can teleport from our ship. Yeah, here we go. Set destination. Activate. Oh, I love these teleporters. They save the walking. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to sit down here. Oops. And then we're going to go on to here. We're going to go into flight mode. Side to side. Bottom. Front. Okay, let's undock okay we're gonna undock here okay Ooh, we're gonna run into our so basically here we go so what you would do is you would line up your ship hopefully I have this all lined up correctly I guess we'll find out oh now there's something new the Q and E keys do a rotation and then the space and the control go up and down right so yeah that's gonna be interesting instead of the alt which does the rotation so we're gonna move up slowly here there we go there's the the thingamabooper uh, let's actually turn off some stuff in the navigation filter here let's turn off asteroids turn off planets let's turn off shops do that the sector still shows up. Oh well, there's probably a different way of dealing with that. Okay, so let's move up here. So now, technically you just have to do a docking beam. So let's see if we can, uh, dang it. Let's try, we, we almost have, a, have to have a docking beam on the front. It's not necessary, but it will, it would help. So let's kind of choose this one since it's, 
there you go bam okay okay that is exactly what I want or to hop out okay so we should be nice so this is where it should be so if we go here if we actually pick the shipyard deck go set destination activate oh, -hoo. oh boy oh there's our ship our beautiful beautiful ship yeah we're not in gravity which is good so yeah so it fits in there which is good I'm not sure if this has to be expanded if we have to extend it upwards or downwards I'm not too sure but yeah but let's kind of carry on with this so we are going to see what we can do with this thing so we can undock the ship cool so no block pulling set inventory name so place order Deconstruct to design. Deconstruct currently dog ship and creates the design of it. All resources of the ship will be placed here and in connected chests. If there is no room, the rest will spawn at your position. Deconstruct currently dog ship. All resources of the ship will be placed here and in connected chests. If there is no room, the rest will spawn. Wow. Repair docked from. So this is why we have to always deconstruct to design. So now there's a smaller ship docked in, and I've also done a blueprint of the ship. Uh, before doing this so if it all goes awry then yeah then we will see so I'm gonna click on this and we're gonna choose was it Demuria rug about bam and it looks like it is deconstructing look at that bye bye ship oh my beautiful beautiful ship it actually takes time that is so freaking cool and BAM! I think it's... Oh, now that's, I think, a ghost image of the ship. That is so cool. Huh. So now it's a hologram, I imagine. So now if we go into here... Oh, look at this! We have a ship design. That is so cool. Pulling on construction. Cool. So I guess we can set that to always be on. Man, so this is the runabout design. So now what do we do? So if we go place order... Oh, we can unload design. By right clicking on the design item, construct current design, collects the resources in here and in connected chest. This will create a blueprint. Create blueprint design. Can I read it? Oh, there we go. Haha. <laughs> Let's create a blueprint of the current loaded design. Test out design. Oh, that's cool. So you can actually you do this. So you for like the fighters and stuff that you can create, that's cool. So you can unload design, you can create a completely new design. That's amazing. Okay cool so this is so cool so now I want to reconstruct this ship so if you go construct current design and if you go Demuria run about one because it might be more and now it should be constructing yeah yeah it is it is just takes time just takes time that's hilarious but look how it constructs it. It's just it's so weird. It takes a long time. I wonder if it has something to do with the pull the, the pull tick here. Yeah, okay. So it's only pulling let's see what else. Let's see how many it pulls at a time. Is that because it can only fit 396 in here? Let's watch this one more time just to see what it looks like. Oh boy. Yeah, so that's why. So it's filling up. So we might want to increase the capacity of this. I wasn't expecting to, but dang it. Now it looks like we do need to. And here, you, look at that. We can do 2,500 blocks every one second. So yeah, so basically we're going to have to expand the space of this. Ah, dang it. I should have known better. So what I've done is I've filled up the storage beneath us. There was a whole empty gap, but there is some room down there, so maybe I can connect in some storage. Okay, so let's go do that. So I'm going to go over to a build block, and we're we're going to kind of set this up so that way I can kind of increase the pull of this. But that's cool. So we're building our ship, and it is building the smaller ship on top and docking it, so that's beautiful. Oh, this is so amazing. So yeah, I'll meet you in the build block. Okay, here we go folks. So we are still working on this. So 
In the meantime, if we connect to this, we should be able to place one of these. Let's see here. This is what happens. So I've been kind of building down here. So in here, we're going to place a lot of the extras. So let's see here. Let's just start putting them here. Looks like we can do it, which is awesome. So let's do this. Let's do this until we feel that we have enough. So I'm going to kind of carry on doing this. Let's do Y2 and then let's do what X1, 2, no, let's do Y. Let's do Y5 like that and then just go place. Oops. Place and place. And we do, I'll just place all the way across. So I'm going to place a bunch of these in here and I'll meet you in a second. Okay, I am done placing them. I figured I would do about 10,000 units in here. That should be plenty. It should be enough to store the ship designs. We should be able to store plenty of them. And yeah. And we should be able to put a lot of blocks. If we need to address that, we can always add more. So there's always tons of space down here for more. So this is kind of, this is kind of what I'm reserving this space for. Uh, this is the main storage or part of the main storage. And so that should help. Looks like our runabout is complete. Looks like everything is kosher. Wow, I'm, I'm quite happy to see. So if we hop out of this, let's see if we can teleport to it. That'd be the next challenge. And then that's it. This will be a short episode, just kind of you mucking around with the shipyard here. So let's teleport. Yeah, look at that. It's switched now. So if we go set destination and we go activate, this should put us onto the bridge of the ship. And it is, it is, oh my goodness. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, you wouldn't even know. Yeah, uh, nice. Man, haha. <laughs> we might want to put a door up here. That's kind of what I'm envisioning now. So we can always update these plans, which is pretty cool. So that means we can build the ship. We can always kind of remove the plans and then kind of build new plans from it which is, oh man, this is just amazing. I love this. I love this little viewport. I'm glad I did that so you could see the ship you know, operating and building. And it builds this one relatively fast. So that's cool. So that means we can, you, ma you almost mass produce ships. But unfortunately, this base is a little bit small. It's still just kind of a small fleet operation center. It's more just a trade station style, right? So let's teleport back to the deck. Oops. No, no, I don't want to go into flight mode. Let's go back onto here. Perfect. And we're going to travel to the shipyard deck again. Set destination. Activate. Oh, it, should, it would help if you stand in it. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Try this again. So now when you do this, it does knock down your shields temporarily, but... I don't know, we don't really have shields on here, and plus this is factioned. Man, that looks so cool. It's just, I'm going to have to remove this bar. This bar is just here for guidance. Um, I do want to connect this to this part, but I want to do it on the outside, on the sides here, instead of on the front. So, yeah, just be aware of that. So, I'm also going to kind of put some beautification to this. So, let's actually teleport to the, the main deck here. I just want to make sure that, actually, no, no, I want to kind of go in here now. Let's go, let's hop in here. What else can we do with this? So we can, so that's cool. So this is how you'd repair. Repair dock from design. Restore the current dock ship to design. So if we're in combat, then we can always rebuild ships. So, yeah, and then there's this stuff. So let's actually move our ship then. So I'm going to move our ship, or this ship, and then I'll be right back. Okay, perfect. So I have the ship docked over there. So that is awesome. So now let's explore this a little bit. Okay, so we have this thing. So we can load or unload this thing. Let's go place order. Uh, create new design. So let's do... What is it? Demuria Fighter version 1. Let's just do that. Ah, okay. And then if we go if we go edit design, ah, ah, okay. And we go Z to build mode, and yeah, look at that. And then you just start building right from here, 
within this this area. Oh, it's so cool. So I guess I imagine you could just start building. So for example, if we go glass, since we have access to our massive amount of, of blocks, we can just start do something like this. So for example, let's do a wedge. Let's do a wedge like this. So that way we can look through it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to draw out my design. But yeah, it looks like we can kind of build our ship this way. What happens if we hit escape? No. If we go Z. And what happens if we go R? Oh, we're outside here though, unfortunately. Ah, that must be a bug. <laughs> a big bug. <laughs> so that means I'm going to have to build a door on this thing. So do we have any glass doors? Oh, we already have. I bet you we already have a door on this thing. Let's see here. I think we'll have a door. I have to remove that block there. I think over here we have a door. Oh, yes, we do. Bam. Okay. No, almost. There we go. We are now inside. Okay, so that is crazy. I'm going to have to put, I think, um, a gravity generator thing right here. Let's see. Let's do that right now, actually. So if I go gravity... We can actually just do like this. Go four, right click to pick up, left click to place. There you go, now we have gravity. We'll need that gravity there. Yeah, I don't know. So we'll have to figure out what's this. I didn't place this here. That's so weird. Okay, no, that's correct. I'm not in symmetry plane, am I? No, I'm not in symmetry plane. That's so odd that we placed a storage box right here. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder where that came from. Anyways, folks. So this is the shipyard. We kind of messed around with it. We can you know, construct current design. We can create blueprint from the current design. We can test out the designs. There's all this stuff that you can do, and it, it seems to work relatively well. And yeah, and so I'm quite impressed. So with this shipyard, I'm going to, of course, add some more decorative stuff on it. I'm going to have to build some blocks for that. And yeah, and, and uh, hopefully I'll build a fighter so that way you can kind of see what they look like. And yeah, and we'll go from there. So thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.